Hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin, founder of Sugar MDs. Today I'm going to talk to you about your problems. The problems about checking the blood sugar. Now, let's face it guys, it is really, really hard to check blood sugars, carry all the stuff with you, you like your meter, your strips, your lancets, your lensing device. It's like a whole pocket, another case just like this. Now, when I see patients in the clinic every day, you know, they sometimes bring this, but more than half the time, they don't have their meter. Now, I wonder, how do you really check your blood sugar if you're going to go out and have a lunch somewhere, or if you're not going back directly to home and you're going to need to check your blood sugars? So half the time, we tell them to check their blood sugars, for example, three, four times a day, and they check it only once or twice because they don't want to carry this around. And I get it, guys. This is like really bulky. If I was a diabetic, what would I? What would happen is this. I would probably either lose my strip somewhere, put it down, and then forget to put it back in there. You really need to be really organized. Uh-oh. <laughs> for this. Um, now, uh, so... But the thing is, you know you have to check your blood sugars, right? So, um, you know, at least, you know, once or twice a day, even if you have a CGM such as Dexcom or Libre, I mean, you're still, they're not very accurate all the time, especially when the blood sugars are rapidly changing, when the blood sugars are not reflecting how you feel, and so forth. So, finger sticks are not going anywhere, and you still have to rely on the finger sticks because that's the most accurate uh, well, close to most accurate measurement. So you also want to make sure that your meters are good quality. We had another video about this as well. Um, but you want to make sure that when you choose a meter, it needs to be practical. It needs to be inexpensive. It needs to be FDA cleared. Uh, it needs to be studied. So there are a lot of brands out there that's going to try to you know, sell you cheap stuff. That doesn't mean that that's necessarily good for you. Even the good meters will have 10% variability. Now, uh, what I found recently, there are, there are a couple good meters out there that you can consider looking into. And what I don't want you to do, go buy the most expensive stuff. That's not what you want to do. Sometimes the most expensive is not necessarily the best thing for you. Now, this thing that I just came along recently is called Dario. And a few of my patients showed me that, and I looked at it, I said, let me have a look at it. So I purchased one for myself, and I looked at their website, and I see that that's pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this quick. Um, and, you know, I want you to check this out because it is very inexpensive. It is FDA cleared. It has been proven by studies. It's been published in ADA, which is American Diabetes Association, American Association of uh, Diabetes Educators, they all recognize this device. So these are the things you have to look for when you're looking for a meter. And then you have to make sure that somebody is supporting you. Now, diabetes coaching is extremely important. So if your blood sugars are low or high, your doctor is not going to respond to you immediately, right? So you need a coach, somebody on your side. So uh, make sure that when you go for a meter, it could be Dario it, or it could be another meter, uh, but make sure that you have um, a coach that's really helping you. Now, another thing you need to look for is strips, right? So if I was a diabetic, to be honest with you, I would probably go out of strips pretty quick. And then next thing you know, I will not have time to go buy strips. Um, and then, you know, then it's going to create a gap and so forth. But I found that Dario actually pretty much, you know, gives you unlimited strips for a low price. So you can check as many times as you want and you don't have to worry about, you know, having to buy more and more and more so you can stay on a budget. Um, you can do HSA, FSA, like all this medical, uh, you know, even even my practice, if you come become a concierge service, you, you know, you can use HSA, uh, FSA for all these medical things that includes Dario meter as well. And the most importantly, it's HIPAA compliant. So your data is not going to be stolen. It is securely saved and so forth. And the coolest feature that I found on Dario uh, is that actually uh, when your blood sugar goes low, you can alert four people. That is pretty cool because one of the biggest scares that I have for my patients, what if their blood sugar goes too low? What if they're alone? So uh, other than that, I think um, 
one last feature that I found useful was to uh, be able to transfer your health data to your loved ones and to your doctor. So if you're using Dario, it is easy for me, it's easy for you because you can just email me your data um, and so forth. So these are the cool things that I found, but I think the Dario is very practical. So what I found here is that you have everything in one device. So think about this. Instead of having everything in uh, everything separately in a big case like this, you have this. You can keep in your pocket, and the Lancet goes right here, and that's a lancing device. So it's like a little, little, little uh, pistol. You just cock it, and then push the button, and then it, it pricks your finger. There's even an adjustment here, and a tiny thing like here. So, uh, and then when you take this out, here's your strips. That's right here. So. I'm like, that's the coolest meter that I've seen so far that keeps everything in one and you can keep everything in your pocket. So that is pretty amazing. And then everything goes to your app directly so you don't have to worry about recording your number. Guys, to claim your 80% discount on Dario Starter Kit, go to mydario.com forward slash sugar You can share your data with your doctor. Um, again, pretty amazing. So if I was diabetic, that will probably be my choice. Um, but let's talk about a little bit other things as well. So when you check your blood sugars, why do you have to record your blood sugar numbers? Or why do you need an app uh, that can actually record your blood sugar numbers? Well, that's important because you need to know, you need to know your trends, you need to know where you're going. Are you high in the mornings? Are you low in the mornings? Um, are you going high after breakfast or different meals? because trends are much more important than individual numbers. A lot of times patients will come and tell me that their blood sugar was, um, you know, 75. Uh, they're too concerned about this because they think it's low. But I'm like, okay, well, what time was that? It's, it was in the morning. Well, how many times do you, you see 70 numbers? They're like, uh, no, nah, not many times. So uh, it's typically like 130, 140, and this time it was 75. Well, I'm more interested in hearing the trending, uh, but yeah, of course I need to know that it was 75 one time and what we do in this case, for example, we need to find out why it was 75 that day. Maybe uh, they exercised a lot that day, were physically uh, very active. Maybe they didn't have a dinner that day. Maybe they're on too much insulin and so forth. Uh, but the trend data is the most important thing instead of trying to get hung up on single individual numbers. So your doctor will be able to analyze and yourself you can analyze as well, see where you're going. Uh, but And, and then you, passing that data to your doctor is extremely important as well. That way you guys can make a mutual decision about your diabetes management. Um, again, the compliance or adherence. I don't call that a compliance, but I call it an adherence to your diabetes regimen uh, is very important. Now, it's easier said than done because as you all know, diabetes is a lifelong disease and it's a constant struggle to try to remember to check blood sugars and I totally get it. It is hard, hard, hard. Whatever can make your life easier, go for it. Whatever makes it easy for you guys. Um, other couple things that you want to know about checking blood sugar is the accuracy. Uh, make sure that your meter has um, ISO and FDA standards uh, to uh, give uh, fairly accurate results. Again, remember, none of the meters are 100% accurate. They are just giving you an estimate of your blood sugars and they will have around anywhere from 5 to 15 percent variability uh, on, a, on, a, on a fairly good meter. Uh, so don't get hung up that your blood sugar was 120 now and you checked it now it's 130 in two minutes. It is okay. The 10 percent variability uh, is acceptable uh, and it's not going to really change your diabetes management a lot. Um, so nevertheless guys I hope you all the best. I hope this video helped you and if it is just give a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.